Imagine a world filled with creatures that would make even the wildest sci-fi monster seem tame. Before humans ever set foot on this planet, ancient Earth was home to beings so bizarre and otherworldly that it's almost impossible to believe they ever existed. Today, we're taking you on a journey to meet some of the weirdest and most mind-boggling creatures to ever roam our planet. From ocean giants with circular saw jaws to dinosaur-sized sloths, prepare to be amazed. Let's commence with the very strange species from the Cambrian period, Anomalocarus. This marine predator that existed about 500 million years ago was nothing after all like the chunks you have ever seen. Its name means weird nondescript shrimp, and there's a good reason for that. Imagine a creature with an elongated, inflating, segmented torso, several flippers, and a pair of riveting claws protruding from the head of this creature. These claws would latch onto the victim, which then made its pointy, circular, jagged mouth, which looked like a juicy pineapple slice, crush the prey. This predator was a giant in its time, reaching up to three feet long, huge for an era where most sea life was small and soft-bodied. With its sharp vision and speed, Anomalocarus ruled the Cambrian seas as one of the first true predators. Moving on to the next is a being so bizarre that scientists dubbed it Hallucigenia, as though it were a term taken from a dream. This Cambrian-timed organism, known as a worm-like or vat animal, had long, spiny legs that appeared very much like those of a fantastical alien being, rather than one from Earth. But here is the twist. For decades, scientists were puzzled about which was the head of the creature and which was the tail section. Hallucigenia's back was lined with stiff, needle-like spines, possibly to deter predators. And instead of a regular mouth, it had a circular structure that scientists think might have been used to eat. At less than an inch long, it wasn't exactly terrifying, but with its bizarre appearance, it was certainly one of the most puzzling creatures to exist. Fast forwarding through the layers of rocks and time to the Devonian Age, around 360 million years ago, we have Dunkleosteus, one of the most fearsome and scaly fishes ever existed. This creature reached 30 feet in size and made it one of the period's greatest hunters. Unlike modern fish, Dunkleosteus did not have teeth. Its jaw was, however, armed with knife-like bony plates that were capable of rendering any prey into pieces like a pair of scissors cutting papers. The sheer power of Dunkleosteus's bite is estimated to be as strong as that of a great white shark, meaning it could chomp through even the toughest armored prey. With its powerful build and relentless hunting style, Dunkleosteus dominated the ancient seas, striking fear into anything that dared to cross its path. For instance, Let's examine the dinosaur Therizinosaurus of the late Cretaceous period, which is very unique. This strange plant eater was found to measure almost 10 mindors in length and had a look that was both fearsome and bizarre. Therizinosaurus had the most ferocious looking, very large scimitars in herniated claws of more than six inches in length, each indeed the longest claws of any existing species. These claws, Though give an image of a battle-ready animal, scientists say were for leaf stripping. Its body structure was unique too. Therizinosaurus had a small head, a long neck, and a bulky torso that made it look almost like a mix between a bird and a sloth. Imagine encountering a towering creature with claws like swords, only to discover it was more interested in plants than in you. After this, we shall go on to the land and meet with Arthropleura. It is a creature that lived during the Carboniferous period and even the most courageous of us would flinch. This ancient version of a modern millipede was eight feet long, thus being the largest terrestrial arthropod discovered to date. Picture a blaring jungle with fierce and mean-looking armored centipede-like wings such a horrible appearance. Even though it seems to be quite a monster, Arthropleura was probably a plant eater that consumed rotting vegetation. But due to such proportions, this enormous millipede would have to rule the area where it existed, as few creatures would expect to make a meal out of it. Similar to how we observe animals today, slow though big-bodied and armored, Arthropleura would have been a wonder as its gaze settled on the forest ground in prehistoric times. There exists a comparable being who looks like a nightmarish monster seen in motion pictures Helicoprion or a buzzsaw shark, as coined popularly. This Permian marine predator also had a unique jaw in a spiral form that had teeth like those of a razor. In contrast to typical sharks, which shed off their old dentition and replaced it with new ones, Helicoprion did quite the opposite. 
its dentition erupted in a saw-like circular insert. For the longest time, evolutionists could not ascertain the position of the spiral jaw clad in concern as to where it fit. A hypothesis claims the spiral jaw was situated within the lower jaw, where it is now argued. With such specialized teeth, Helicoprion would have been cutting its prey, and in this way, it must have been a very effective carnivore in the prehistoric oceans. After countless years of research, the scientists are still not able to determine what Tully Monstrum, commonly known as the Tully Monster, really was. The so-called Tully Monster lived about 300 million years ago in the muddy seafloor of present-day Illinois, and this phenomenon has intrigued many scientists. The Tully Monster had a torpedo-shaped body, bulging eye stalks on either side, and a long, claw-like structure extending from the front of its body, a toothy jaw. At about a foot long, it wasn't huge, but the Tully Monster's strange anatomy makes it a true mystery. Some scientists think it might have been related to snails or lampreys, but the truth is, no one knows for sure. The Tully Monster remains one of the great mysteries of the ancient seas. From the depths of the ocean to the expansive skies, let us shift our attention towards Quetzalcoatlus, among the largest flying creatures ever known. Pleasingly, its name comes from the Aztec feathered deity, who was known as the God of Wind, Quetzalcoatl, because he possessed wingspans of over 36 feet, at least larger than most of the small to medium-sized planes, and most likely including the plane that is always available. However, even though this creature was incredibly big, Quetzalcoatlus is said to have been an excellent flyer who would stretch his wings and cover vast distances while soaring, looking down at the terrains of the ancient world below. With its long, slender beak and toothless jaws, Quetzalcoatlus likely scavenged for food or hunted small animals on land, swooping down to snatch its prey. It's hard to imagine a creature that large soaring through the air, but Quetzalcoatlus was a master of the skies ruling the air during the late Cretaceous period. Back to the Cambrian period, we meet yet another bizarre creature, Opabinia. This small, soft-bodied animal is notable for its five eyes and a long, flexible proboscis ending in a claw-like structure. Imagine a creature no more than three inches long, with a body like a worm, tiny flippers, and a trunk that looks like a mini elephant. Opabinia used its clawed proboscis to grab prey and bring it to its mouth making it a highly effective predator despite its tiny size. Its five eyes gave it an impressive field of vision, which would have come in handy in the predator-filled Cambrian seas. Opabinia may have been small, but its unique anatomy has fascinated scientists since its discovery. And finally, we come to the largest of our strange creatures, Megatherium, also known as the giant ground sloth. This massive sloth, which lived in South America during the Pleistocene epoch, could grow up to 20 feet long and weigh several tons. With its towering frame and huge claws, Megatherium looked like a creature out of a fantasy novel. Despite its size, Megatherium was an herbivore, using its claws to pull down branches and strip leaves. It likely spent a lot of its time on the ground, although it was probably capable of rearing up on its hind legs to reach higher vegetation. Megatherium's size would have made it nearly invincible against predators, and it was likely one of the dominant herbivores of its time. Ancient Earth was home to creatures stranger than we could ever imagine. Each of these bizarre beings offers a glimpse into a world vastly different from our own. Who knows what other oddities lie buried, waiting to be discovered. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and make sure to click the bell icon so you stay updated with all our latest videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.